Hey guys, it's Sanem and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new here. So today I'm gonna to be doing a REM Beauty review. This is Ariana Grande's makeup brand, if you guys did not know. And today I'm gonna to be reviewing quite a lot of the collection, almost all of it. I placed an order, decided to get almost all of it. You know, we have um, the highlighter, we have the eyeshadow palette, we have two lipsticks, we have two lip glosses, we have the mascara, the eyeliner. Oh, we have the liquid eyeshadows as well. I got two of those as well. I'm going to be doing close-ups and detailed shots, descriptions of all the products, swatches, all of that good stuff. You know, demo it as well, review it. Everything in depth, this is like a full on proper review. If you are new here, this is how I do my reviews. And grab a snack, grab a drink. And without further ado, let's jump into reviewing Ariana Grande's makeup brand, Rem Beauty. Let's jump into the Rem Beauty review. So the first thing I'm gonna be jumping into is eyes. The first thing I'm gonna be reviewing for you guys is the Lustrous Liquid Eyeshadows from Rem Beauty. So these are essentially just liquid eyeshadows. These are called the Midnight Shadows Liquid Eyeshadows. I picked up two shades because I wanted to to really test them out. The first shade I have here is called Milky Way. And Milky Way is described on the website as a metallic rich teal. This is just a beautiful, exactly what it's described as, a teal blue, like cobalt ocean blue shade. And it is very multi-dimensional. It almost has like some purple glitter in there as well. Um, a little bit of silver as well. It's a very just fun, deep, deep blue, like liquid glitter metallic shade. I mean, this is absolutely stunning. It is so inviting, it is so rich. And then the next one I have is the shade Asteroid, which is more of like, as you can see, a copper sort of bronze shade look at that that is absolutely stunning and this one um on the rem beauty website they describe this as a metallic bronze that's what they describe it as and that's pretty much what it is as well you know it's like a straight up just bronzy copper shade so i'm going to insert a clip using the copper one because i'm not actually going to use this one today for the look but this is what this one looks like and how it goes on it glides on the eyes it really went on well and it just blends out easily either with a brush or with your fingers um and i really feel like i can just see myself using this and just just walking out the door like a wash of color um but it's absolutely stunning especially to wear on its own or with eyeshadow on top these are also waterproof and long wearing and these do also retail for 16 dollars absolutely stunning stunning i'm gonna go ahead and this is so pigmented oh, i'm gonna go ahead and just buff this on the eye oh my goodness it's almost like when you're blending it out you're seeing more of that glitter i'm sorry what i'm sorry what? So it's blending, it gives me enough time to play with it on my eyes, which is amazing. Absolutely amazing, like it's not drying down, so you don't have to worry about it drying down too quickly. It gives you so much time to, you know, maneuver it around on your eyes. Um, and it almost starts to dry down slowly, which is great. But absolutely stunning. So of course I'm not gonna do it perfect because I am gonna go into the eyeshadow palette, but this is it right here. This is Milky Way, absolutely stunning blue. A lot of the glitter is just coming out. Um, you can wear this sheer, you can, you know, make it a lot more intense. Oh, it, she's waterproof, like she is not budging. Oh my God, she is not budging. Maybe just a tiny bit right there, but So far, I'm so impressed. Next, we're gonna dive into the eyeshadow palette. So this is the Rem Beauty Midnight Shadows Eyeshadow Palette is what it's called. And again, I believe they have only three shades and I wanted to go for not the neutral one. I wanted to go for this really fun, um, like deep space galaxy kind of palette, which is just so fun. And can I just say the packaging on this eyeshadow palette um, just reminds me of a UFO. And I am so into space and UFOs and aliens. And I absolutely love the packaging. It's very heavy duty. It's not cheap feeling. Um, it's very unique. It's something that's not on the market. Absolutely love the packaging. And these are these shades right here. The one that I've got it in is called Midnight Snack. That's the palette name. And it comes with these beautiful, um, again, rich tones, almost like jewel tones, uh, taupes, a really nice deep 
kind of purple, a nice metallic black, and then you have some light shades as well, a nice creamy beige. The eyeshadow palette does retail for $24. First shade I'm gonna be taking is this one right here, this matte like mauve shade, which is calling my name. And this one is in the shade Sachet Sorbet. Yeah, it's a really smooth matte. There is some fallout, um, nothing crazy, but it's a really nice shade as well. Really nice cool toned transition shade. And we're gonna be darkening it up with this shade right here, which is a nice deep plum matte also. And this one is called Plumbledore. That is such a cute name. I'm taking the Morphe and Ariel brush, which is A25, and applying that on my outer corner. Wow. The fact that this is so richly pigmented that it's actually covered over the glitter, that's insane. I really, really, really like how it, it just feels silky. It feels silky. I can't explain, but it feels, I'm sure you guys can see how it's demonstrating, feels really smooth on the eyes. It doesn't feel dry. It feels like it's just, I don't know, a very smooth formula. Next, I'm taking the shade Blueberry, which is this beautiful, like, blueberry shade. Yeah, I'm gonna be packing this on the lid on top of the Milky Way. So this one isn't as uh, shimmery as I thought it would be. It's more of like a, it's a little bit of a dry formula. So it feels, it feels and looks a little more dry. Um, it's not super like sparkly or metallic as like other metallic eyeshadows from other brands are. Yeah, because I feel like this just almost toned it down a little bit and almost made it a little bit more matte. It's not as sparkly. It just almost looks like a little bit of a satin on the eyes, but still really pretty. I'm going to try to use as much shades as possible. Um, So now let's go into the black. I'm going to use all of them. The black one is called Cheeky Hijiki. <laughs> That's such a funny name. And this is a like silvered black. Just going to put this on the lash line. I'm going to take the creamy matte beige and this one is called eggnog and putting that on my brow bone. the Rem Beauty eyeliner and this one is called the At The Borderline Eyeliner Marker. This is um, a basically felt tip eyeliner and this is in the shade Midnight Black and this one is described as a bold black um, and it's basically, yeah, a felt tip eyeliner so it is going to be really precise. This one retails for $19. Um, and it's a waterproof formula as well, so it's absolutely not gonna budge. And especially because the liquid eyeshadow did not budge, I can promise you this is probably not gonna budge either. Now, let's go ahead and test this. Ooh, so far, very black, very black. This really just glides on the eyes. Um, and it's really nice and wet. I know that sounds really weird, but it's like, it's not a dry felt tip. It's very liquidy, but not liquidy enough where it's, you know, gonna be hard to work with. It just provides you with the right amount of pigment um, and intensity. The felt tip as well is quite short, which is great because a lot of long felt tips um, can be really hard to work with. This one is the perfect length and it's just going over all those dark colors and being super, super, super black, 
super crisp and sharp. Usually with my eyeliner, I like to go over it two or three times. You guys see that in my tutorial tutorials. Um, and with this one, I mean, it's so black that I do not need to go over it anymore. So I'm really impressed by that. I did not expect much out of the eyeliner, but so far, I love it. I love it mainly for how black it is and then also how easy it is to use because of how short the felt tip is. It's the perfect length. So honestly, um, yeah, give it a go if you are struggling to find a good eyeliner. I think you guys are gonna really like that one. Now let's test the mascara. So this is the mascara from Rem Beauty. They do have two, one's a lengthening one, one's a volumizing one. I decided to go with the volumizing one and this is called the Flourishing Volume Mascara. And first of all, again, packaging, A plus on the packaging, because this is so futuristic. So the mascara is basically a volumizing mascara, which is a clean formula. It has no parabens in there. No clumping is what it says. Um, nourishing on the lashes as well as volumizing. Um, and it gives you the maximum volume for your lashes. So it's really gonna intensify your lashes, make them black. And I don't normally wear false lashes. So let's see if this is really gonna lift them up or so far, I like the formula, the feel of it. It feels a little bit on the dry side, which I love with mascaras. I hate when mascaras are super wet and liquidy. When it's dry, it means it's really gonna um, cling to your lashes. It really, it really, really, really hasn't done much. It's just coating them, but it's not really volumizing them like, um, like other mascaras that I've tried. My Morphe Make It Big is really volumizing and the Too Faced mascara. This is really just coating them. <laughs> I had high hopes. Yeah, this one's a pass for me. Interested to see how the lengthening one is, but no, I don't, I don't, I don't like this one. So far, it's honestly done nothing. And I just, I can't keep on going in and in and in because that's not what mascara is supposed to do. I'm not supposed to be standing here and just keep on layering, you know? It's just like, how many coats am I gonna have to keep doing for it to really be intense? And it just hasn't really done anything. So that's a shame. I'm gonna pass on that. I'm gonna say that that's not my favorite. Um, and I'm really a little bit just disappointed in the mascara. So we'll move past it. Next is the highlighter from them. So this is called the Interstellar Highlighter Topper. Um, and this one is in the shade Miss Venus is what I decided to pick it up in again. <laughs> All the vibes kind of giving me Kiko packaging, but really pretty like galaxy highlighter. And this one is described as a icy gold and it's also retailing for $22. These interstellar highlighter toppers are multi-dimensional. They have a silky creamy formula to them. They're very smooth. They melt into the skin and they also give off a dewy luminous effect. Ooh, okay. No like powderiness no fallout, no chalkiness, just very smooth, very smooth and buttery. This is it right here. This is the shade uh, Miss Venus, a beautiful like yellow gold. It is very gold. It is very gold. And I love that it just almost doesn't really have glitter in there. It's giving off just a luminous sheen. You know, their descriptions are really spot on. So let's go ahead and actually try this one out. I mean, it's basically giving off a just gold sheen without the glitter, without the sparkliness. Um, it's melting into the skin. It's looking very, very, very natural. Um, and it isn't looking anything too crazy, which I love. It is a little bit too gold for me, um, but I can make it work. It just looks like it's a candle lit glow. It's glowing from within. Does that make sense? It just looks almost just like a radiant, luminous finish, which is exactly what they said. Um, and these really, I can imagine on the eyes, on the body, on the collarbone, like, let's try it right now. Ooh, you see how that's just popping? How beautiful that looks. So like just glowy, super, super pretty. Um, I could bathe myself in this, this is dangerous. <laughs> Let me know what you guys think. Um, first impressions as well, but it's super pretty. Very lightweight as well. It does not feel powdery on the cheeks. It doesn't have this powdery formula and it's very, very, very silky. So I really like how that looks. I guess it doesn't really go with the look, but 
yeah super pretty i'm very impressed with that and i would definitely get some other colors i'm gonna jump into the lip products now and then we'll go back to the eyes but the lip products i have i have two different types so first we have the lipsticks so these i picked up two different shades right here um, and these are called the on your collar matte lipsticks the packaging on these are insane it does come with this little thing right here and this is it there that's the lipstick tube very space-like astronaut stuff kind of stuff um and i just it's just so fun so this one is in the shade roller roller skates roller roller skates first of all as well these are magnetic and this is that shade right there a beautiful peachy just peachy shade the lipsticks are ultra smooth they glide on the lips, they are long lasting, they have a creamy matte finish and they are comfortable as well. Roller skates is described as a nude peach pink. So the lipsticks do retail for $19. And then we have Bubbly, which looks very similar, but I do a side-by-side -side comparison as well for you guys to see that they aren't actually the same, but they look the same to me, at least when I first saw it. So Bubbly is a beautiful, like just pink color. This is a lot more pink, and then the other one is more peach. So if you like pink lipsticks, go for Bubbly. Um, it's a beautiful neutral pink, which is gonna be flattering on a range of skin tones because it's not a light, light pink, but it's not a really deep, like mauvey pink or rosy pink is just the perfect like neutral pink this shade is described as a nude pink so you can see right there very very similar very similar this one right here is bubbly this is roller skates but you can just see the tones are different let's go ahead and swatch bubbly Ooh. is this not a bit of me this is such a bit of me it's a it's a cool mid-tone neutral pink roller skates Ooh, which one do you guys think you would get for yourself so let's go ahead with roller skates first has a vanilla scent insanely insanely creamy and comfortable gives you that soft finish on the lips not drying and this is beautiful it just looks so plush on the lips and so just beautiful i can't the formula is so interesting i don't think i've tried anything like this very similar to the mac powder kiss lipsticks or the carly bible and ill maquillage lipsticks very similar so this one again is roller skates let me know what you guys think of this one now let's go ahead and try bubbly so the pink shade This is the winner. <laughs> I can't get over how creamy these are. But the shade, it's giving me a little bit of like MAC Cream Cup, MAC Snob, something like that, but not as cool toned. Really beautiful, beautiful pink shade. If you are a fan of pink lipsticks, you have to get this one. Of course, it's gonna look different on everyone, but maybe with a deeper lip liner. Super, super, super pretty, very comfortable. Um, I could go on about these. Uh, very creamy as well. Last but not least is the lip glosses. So we do have two right here. These are the On Your Collar Plumping Lip Glosses. So I picked up two shades. Again, I couldn't decide. Um, one is called Waterfalls, which is a beautiful, like, peach, really, like, creamsicle baby peach shade. Very, very up my alley and very pretty. So the shade Waterfalls is described as a beige nude, which in my opinion isn't right because this is like straight up peach to me, very peachy. And then we have Away Message, which I think is gonna be the most popular one and I think you guys are gonna absolutely love. And this one is a beautiful brown, like straight up nude, creamy, milky brown. Um, just reminds me of like a very light, like hot chocolate, milk chocolate lip gloss. Away message is described as a warm nude, which is pretty much spot on. These lip glosses retail for $17 and these are basically hydrating and lightweight glosses. They plump your lips. They have a mint vanilla scent. They have a high shine finish. They are non-sticky and they give you fuller looking lips. I'm going to swatch on the hands first away message. These do come with a applicator like this almost like old-fashioned lip glosses which i love you know taking it back old school okay pigmentation is there 
which is nice. It's not a really sheer gloss. It's got pigment to it. Beautiful brown gloss. I don't really get much vanilla. It's very minty. So that one is away message. And then let's go ahead and then try waterfalls, which is the peach. This is my one. This is my shade. That one is waterfalls. I want to see how pigmented they are. It is a little bit stiff. It is quite stiff, but very stiff. I don't like the packaging. It's very stiff. Oh, I hate the packaging. It's too stiff. The color is so pretty. It almost, almost covers the little lines and just perfects your lips. They definitely look full. They look juicy. They look healthy. They look glossy. It's just giving me like old school lip gloss in a tube vibes. Very minty. It is tingling a little bit, but ever so slightly. It's not burning my lips. Um, it's almost just working into my lips. I'm like becoming my lip. It just looks so natural and juicy. It's not overly shiny either. This would be beautiful just, you know, walk out of the house just with this. Um, yeah, it's tingling a little bit and it's just plumping them. It looks absolutely beautiful. This shade Waterfalls is really pretty. Now let's try Away Message. Oh. Wow, this is so pretty. I like that they're not overly pigmented. They just have like the right amount of pigment as well, but you still see a little bit of your natural um, lip color peek through. So this one is Away Message, a beautiful neutral nude brown. So, so, so beautiful. I think on deeper skin tones, this is gonna look amazing. Um, I really like this one as well, but I would have to say Waterfalls is my favorite, but this is it right here. Let me know what you guys think of this one. I'm gonna finish off with this silver taupe and this one is called Whipped Cream, which is a really interesting name for this shade. So it just gave a little bit of like this shimmeriness underneath the eyes. Um, I did a little bit of color, but not too much. This on the, lid, on the lid would be really pretty. I'm gonna just finish off with mascara. I honestly think this could be one of the best celebrity makeup brands. Wasn't really a fan of Fenty's, just did not work for my skin. Um, Rare Beauty probably is the first brand that I absolutely love for a celebrity makeup line. And then it may be Rare Beauty. But then again, I haven't really tried many of Rare, Beauty, Rare Beauty's and I've actually tried more of Rare Beauty. So it's, it's up there. I mean, it is so high quality. It is exactly what you are paying for. The formulas of everything are very, very rich and luxe. They are creamy. They are so pigmented. They are so long, like long lasting. Even though I haven't actually worn it for a whole day, they feel like they're going to be long lasting because it's not smudging. Like it's, look at this eyeliner. Like, look. Everything that they pretty much claimed was spot on. I think if you really had to get something, get the lipsticks. They are out of this world. Um, and then the liquid eyeshadows. Those are my top two. Very, very beautiful formulas and colours. And I just, I really can see this brand going a long way. Um, and I really hope they are available to more countries um, and without all the crazy tax because I paid £60 tax. That was my review. Let me know what you guys think. Give me all your thoughts down below in the comment section. If you guys bought anything as well or if you are going to pick up anything and what you guys liked, give it a thumbs up. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe. Enter my giveaway as well, which is my last video. I hope everyone is staying safe and I'll speak to you guys all in my next video.